Hey YouTube, it is Dman51, back at it again with another video on how to show you guys um, to download an EMB for Fallout 3 on Windows 10, because a few of you asked me to do a simple tutorial on it, so let's get started. First thing you want to do is go to the Fallout 3 Nexus, and it doesn't matter what EMB you download, it's your personal preference. My personal favorite is the Atmos EMB. So the first thing you want to do before you install any EMB is go to the EMB website. Click on it and go to the new section. Download, scroll all the way down until you find Fallout 3 slash New Vegas. You download the most recent version, which is 0 0.451. Click download, open it up, and use the wrapper version. And all you want to do is download the hold on, the D3D9 file and drag it in. And the embhost.exe file, drag it in. I've already done um, everything there is to download the EMB. I'm just showing you guys how to do it for yourself. Exit out of there. Exit here, exit here. Go to the files. Click on the Atmos EMB 2021. Manually download that. Might take a little while. There we go. Now um, you will see a file labeled EMB locale. You have to read up online on how to pre-configure it to your computer. It's pretty easy. Um, but yeah, this file you can't just drag it in and um, it's not going to work. It will work, but it's probably going to crash the game because this, you have to pre-configure it. Uh, for me, it's 512 and the video memory size MB is 8192. I have I had to mess up some settings around here to make it actually work with the game. You just have to play around with it, see if it works for you. And download all these files and put it in the same folder as um, where we did the D3D9 file and the EMB host file. This is called a root folder. You don't put anything else in these little folders except for um, other EMBs that require something to be put in there. But for Atmos EMB and for every Fallout 3 EMB I know of, uh, you don't have to put anything in the data folder. Um, so we're pretty much set on that. And you go back to the file section. And this this mod right here, the Vibrant Weathers and Lighting, this is mandatory. So you download that via the Mod Manager, Nexus, Vortex, Mod Manager 2, what have you, either one. And then another mod that this EMB requires is Project Reality. You have to type it in correctly because Nexus doesn't seem to bring it up. Okay, we'll just bring it up in Nexus, doesn't matter. So go to Nexus. You open it up, click on Fallout 3, wait for Nexus to open. And like I said before, the Vibrant Weathers mod. I spelled it there. You download it, you leave it checked here to enable it. Then you go all the way down and you leave it checked. But the difference between that and the other mod, Project Reality, this one, you leave it checked here. And in the plugins section, you uncheck it to make sure the meshes and the textures work, just not the weathers from that mod. And you're basically set with the EMB. Um, like I said before, you have to prefigure the EMB locale to your computer settings. I've already done that beforehand. And then just open it up. I'm using Fallout Mod Manager. This still works, thank God. And then make sure it's unchecked. Project Reality, okay, we're set. And then you launch it. And for me, the only problem I have with Fallout 3 is if you click load, it takes forever to load in, like it's an infinite loading screen. So what I have to do all the time is I have to click a new game. So a new game. You, you skip the introduction cutscene. Wait 
for it to load. And yes, I'm I'm using a custom soundtrack based on Last of Us and Last of Us Part Two. And there you have it. EMB works for Fallout 3, guys. So I hope you guys like the video. Um, subscribe if you want to. I could do a tutorial on other EMBs or what have you. Maybe the soundtrack I'm using. So yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching.